Hi guys, welcome to part two of the link posting video on the Switch TV uh, chatbot tutorial. Um, this video we're going to be looking at the ELSIF statements. Um, yesterday's video, very successful really. Uh, Gotta thank you guys for making all these videos successful. They have done very, very well. And yeah, liking, sharing, whatever, it all helps so much. Right, anyway, enough of that. Let's get started. We finished off where we had the timeout neck, um, and we finished off with three swiggly brackets. I want to just do a few spaces underneath uh, the first, the top one, um, and I'm going to start writing the other, the next statement here. So we're going to write an else statement, um, which is going to be open the double brackets after a space, uh, dollar sign red X again. I'll do for that. Um, open bracket, dollar sign one minus comma. Percent purge. Oops, so minus come on. Percent purge. Double close bracket. Plus plus. Um, and we want to do open bracket again. Dollar sign reg m one. And then put a one in case in brackets there. And space equals permit. Then we want to do another plus plus, which is taking into account another variable. Uh, this one's going to be uh, the is op one, so it's got to be coming. Basically, only ops are allowed to permit. That's what it's going to basically mean. So checking if they're a knock in the channel. That's one of the variables. Of course, we need that because we can't have people permitting people randomly. Otherwise, people just permit themselves. Um, and then we want to do double plus again. Um, space open bracket. Double dollar sign to space is on. Space hashtag double close bracket um, and then open a squiggly bracket. Now, anywhere there where we do open a squiggly bracket, we've got to close that squiggly bracket. So we're going to close it straight away. Um, now we want to just type inside our open squiggly bracket and we want to do had space. Make sure that's had with double D, by the way, that was intentional. Space M uh, minus MZ, space permit, dollar sign V1, space 30, straight line, notice, dollar sign V1. You have 30 seconds to post a link. Starting now. I'm going to do a message underneath that um, in the channel. So you now have 30 seconds to post a link. So it's basically going to tell them they have 30 seconds to post a link in the channel. It always been permitted. Um, you can make it so that you can basically do it for that like certain user. Um, fairly straightforward. Uh, but I just want to leave it to, uh, you now have 30 seconds to post a link, I think that's better. But yeah, you get the idea. Right, on the next part, we want to do... We want to go after our squiggly brackets, so we're going to start a new line. And we're going to check our brackets as well, brackets are all okay. So on the next line, we want to do another else if statement. It's going to be double open bracket dollar sign reg m1 again um, and then in case a one in the, in the bracket um, space equals space link on close bracket now if I think I said in the last in the last video that this is going to be to activate the links on so the link protection on which basically means while the link protection is on no one can post links other than mods or the host or anyone moves the mod yeah basically model our house. Um, because that's what you want really. You don't want people randomly activating the link protection. So we're gonna do double and and we're gonna do the is up again just to make sure it's just the just the people who are up so we can use this command. So we'll open the squeaker and okay, we'll close one straight after then we can start writing inside this. So we wanna do go to um, dollar sign I I F open the open the normal bracket and then exclamation mark dollar sign is T O K 
open bracket percent sham on one comma hashtag comma thirty two close bracket comma a comma b close bracket. I want to do a straight line, space straight line, uh, a colon a space straight line space set percent channel on one space dollar sign at top uh, so at t ok um, and then open bracket again and percent channel on comma hashtag comma 32 close bracket Next line, we want to create a message, uh, but the message is going to be in just in the console, I think. We should we have this just in the console so it displays in this console, or do we want it to be actually in chat? We'll have it display in the console and in chat, how about that? So I'm going to do dot message, uh, dot message, hashtag my link protection is now on. In we can do the channel name, which is going to be dollar sign plus um, open bracket dollar sign C H R in case two in brackets comma hashtag close bracket. Now we can use this again, um, and we can do this basically display the same message just on another line, and we want that to be just in the chat. So it's going to actually say in the chat, just so everyone knows, link protections now on, don't go posting links. It's not what people, it's not what you want to do. I just leave my link protection all the time, on all the time when I stream. It seems to be the best way to do it, and then just permit each user as you want them to. So we're going to do halt on this line, uh, space the vertical line, colon B, space the vertical line again. And we want to do a message, which is basically the same. Now this is going to be what we're going to use this this little part here is so that if the link protection is already on we want a message to display to be displayed in the chat so that you know it's already on so it says that it's already on in fact we're just gonna we're gonna get rid of this one here we're gonna get rid of them all which is in the chat we're just gonna keep it as well um, and we're gonna have my link protection is already on in the channel um, so we can put that here uh, I'll just copy and paste that. So it's dot message uh, space hashtag dollar sign nick put space dollar sign plus space comma space my link protection is already on whatever message you want basically in dollar sign plus and then on the next line it needs to be dollar sign plus it basically needs to be this part here but it's slightly different. Because on this line we need to do our hashtag comma dollar sign C R H and then open bracket two close bracket twice space exclamation mark. Now that is our next else if statement done. So we now have a check, two else if statements and one if statement. Now in fact two of statements because we've got one further up here. Which is what we need. Now we're gonna do our third else of statement now, um, which is going to be basically turning the link protection off. So we're gonna do basically the same principles, but it's just gonna be slightly different. Barely not really different at all, to to be honest. Um we'll just tack this up quickly, so we're gonna do an else if open bracket twice like we did before dollar sign reg m1 just like before and then open bracket one close bracket space link off instead of link on and we want to do plus plus oops plus plus uh, dollar sign nick is is off hashtag close bracket, close bracket, and then we want to open up our screen the record again, we'll just make sure that's correct, and then we'll start writing in this next line here. So we do have now the right number of closed brackets on this I believe, so we can check our brackets and we can see that they're all okay. And that is how our brackets are going to stay. 
So we can start right in here. We don't need any more Swoopley Rockets in this. Uh, we can do a go to again. Thor sign I I F. Open bracket. Thor sign is T OK. Open bracket. Thor sign Chan on one. Comma. Hashtag. Comma. Thirty two. Close bracket. Comma C comma D. Close bracket. Straight line. Space. Colon C, straight line, set, space set, percent chan on one, space, door sign, rem top, rem T, okay again, uh, dot, uh, open bracket, and then it's a percent chan on, comma, hashtag, comma one, hashtag, oh wait, hashtag, comma one. Comma 32, close the bracket. Then we want to display a message which is the same as before, but we're going to have it say basically this. Um, we're going to copy that and we're going to do it's now off. Like so, the same as before. Um, and then on the next line, we want to do another halt. This time it's going to be colon D. Let me call on B. Uh, straight line, space, dot message. It's going to be the same um, as before up here. Like so. Let's copy that. Perfection is already off this time. In the channel, which is a dollar sign plus. Next line, I want to do exclamation mark, and that is our script complete. We'll check the brackets. All done. Great. So now we can see if we go to our Twitch chat, and I have mine open here just from when I was testing it earlier. And we can do, we can just check our points actually. Should have been any points. Yes, we have been any points. Um, and we want to say put the link on. We want to put our link protection on. Which should work. Link post uh, command on mail. I knew it's that uh, here. I've done something slightly wrong somewhere. Um, just let me find out and I'm looking at Now after checking and realizing that I didn't make that many mistakes, okay, I made one or two mistakes in the in the text. Um I have made a big, big stupid mistake when copying out my aliases and it is very, very dumb. Now normally when I'm copying out my aliases, I normally use, I normally copy the first part out. So you know how I always say minus one, alias minus one. Now this may have been a problem with you on your point system video as well. Now this is very, very stupid of me. I kind of got screwed up with the font. And now when I was testing my scripts, this doesn't work for the point system either. Uh, that's why I had to retype it out, um, but also um, copy it from my other file. Now, the thing that I screwed up when copying it from my other file is I got mixed up with the font. Now, the font on here is very, very <laughs> annoying, and it and it's like it, that looks like a one. It definitely is a one, but no, it's an L. And you want to replace. <laughs> I'm sorry about this, guys, but you want to replace any minus one basically with minus L when talking about aliases because that's just what it is, it's just the right thing to do. Um, as well as you reg M1s and you want to replace them all with L. Now what I've done is I've put this in the description for you. I've copied it all up with L's in the description so it should all be good to go. Um, there was also one slight thing that I've done wrong here. Um, believe. Here I've put 56 and then I missed out a small part. Basically you put the 56 and then you close the bracket. You do a forward slash s plus close bracket. It's a vertical line and then it's a backslash 
56. Once again. Um, and then open screen the record like so. And that is all there is to that really. Apart from we did get one bracket screwed as well here, which is meant to be just a normal bracket. Like so. So that's looking more normal. Um, obviously I do have to replace all the ones with L's when talking about aliases on the Reg M1. Can't believe I've done that, I can't believe I'm so stupid doing that. Um, but I'll get that fixed and I'll be back in a moment. Alright, so I did fix all of that. It's all replaced with L's now, you can see my aliases is done. I'm so stupid. I always thought it was a one on aliases, but I've never... Whenever I've had a problem, I've just copied my scripts down, and it's kind of, I don't know. We'll click OK, and we'll give it a quick test um, in here. Well, we can do exclamation mark link on. We should be able to see now that our link protect protection is now on in here, um, and we can permit users. Um, so we can permit, permit Chrome TV post a link for example, now I'll post like, post a link. I already have permission but I can post a link into here. Let's do google.com. I can post links. Uh, we want to turn the link protection off, we do exclamation mark link off. Like so, or we can do link on You get the idea. It's Fairly straightforward to use script. Um, it's in the description for anyone having any issues with it. I'm sorry that I didn't quite explain it quite well in the in this part, um, but it's just the fact with the L's and the ones. I'm sorry about that. The script is in the description. Copy it if you wish. This script will work with Twitch or you are just not regular IRCs if you want. But remember, if you're using regular IRC channel. Uh, replace the timeout with purge and stuff like that. Uh, replace. You want to replace all your timeouts with that. And there'll be a few other changes which I can't really help you with because this video is mainly on Twitch. So, thanks for watching guys. That's all for the link posting video. Next video will be on how to, how to, how to use banned keywords. So, so if you don't want anyone cursing over in your chat, it will stop them and it will ban them. Just similar to this kind of system. And we'll have Kind of similar variables created, aliases, on text commands basically, which will stop that. So remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for the growth, guys. It's been great over the past week. See you next time.